today is Friday. Weather's nice. Andre's gonna ride outside. And Andre and I, please. <laughs> I have my first real bike testing that I've ever done. A full metabolic and lactate step test. Andre will do his testing for the run. So I'm supposed to have like a regular, what I would have for a race breakfast. I'm a little bit behind on timing, but coffee, cinnamon raisin bagel, peanut butter. I don't ever travel with coconut flakes, but I want them, so. You'll have to re-eat a second breakfast then. Yes. Mine's at 10 a.m. So we'll, uh, we'll go through the whole process. I am just finishing some warming up, hip opening for the test. All of a sudden I am nervous, even though it's only about 30 minutes, but it should be interesting. I've not done anything like this on the bike before. So, wish me luck. Here we go. Let's check out the setup. So, I'm the <laughs> yeah. We got the whole setup in the garage today. Jared's the one doling out the punishment. Yes, I'm all in. Ready to go. <laughs> Just about Only. All the ladies will be doing the treadmill later. Yeah, including Andre or? Yeah, and Andre. <laughs> so, all done with the test and I'm gonna walk you guys through kind of some of the technical things. I know we don't always get technical here, but since we are kind of going that route this year and being more specific with our data, I'd like to share a little bit of kind of what the test was, what the protocol was, what the goal was, and all of that. The test itself was what I like to call a metabolic and lactate profile test. The protocol for the test, I needed to eat um, about three hours before the test so that I wasn't, you know, all carved up right before the test. Um, and making sure that I ate whatever I would eat kind of on a race day, have that about three hours beforehand. And then for the test, you have the, you have the full mask on like the VO2. So it does measures all the metabolic rate and it does measure VO2, but this was not a VO2 max test. So um, don't ask me what the VO2 max was because it was more of a ramp test. So that was, you know, the protocol, just get ready for that. Um, prepare as you normally would for a regular race day, essentially. And then once we got on the bike, it was just um, 10 minutes kind of in a warm up zone. You start with the mask right away and then a series of five minute ramp ups. So I started at like 120 watts for the warm up, and then after that was five minute increments of um, ramping up the power. At the end of each increment, um, we did take the lactate to see where the zone was um, and it would auto ramp up on the program on Zwift for me. So taking the lactate and then it was measuring all of the metabolic data and um, respiratory rate data and heart rate as well. We had the heart rate monitor. Um, so that's how the test itself actually worked. So the goal of this test essentially was to figure out what my pure zones were, if I am training in the right zones, um, what is my easy zone, am I actually doing it easy, and figuring out what my threshold is and sub-threshold, my fat max utilization. So basically seeing, you know, where am I utilizing the most fat burning, um, which for me personally capped out at like 121 um, heart rate, which I do have a low heart rate, but I think there's a lot of room for improvement there. Um, and not only that, but figuring out how many carbs per hour I really should be taking um, and figuring out how the nutrition plays into that, but also figuring out how we can improve in each of these zones. So the main takeaways for my test were that um, it actually should be relatively easy to up my threshold. We were 
kind of not pushing me. Um, I think Julie said that she was underestimating me a little bit last year and we I'm now using a heart rate monitor that is, you know, I'm using every single session and it's more accurate for me and that really helps. But so now we know that I actually can push my threshold quite easily to the next step, but I also need to push that higher level a little bit higher and how we can work on that. And not only that, but we're gonna try to work on, like I said, that fat utilization, kind of play with that a little bit. And I think the biggest takeaway for me was just to really see how many carbs per hour I should be intaking. And so at the low end, I should be taking 71 grams per hour. And then at the higher end, uh, you know, say probably like 70.3 racing, um, probably to the 80 to 85 grams per hour range. And, you know, that was really important for me to, to start to get to know about myself and really put the nutrition into play. But I think it was really positive for me to see that I can actually push a lot more on the bike and my body is definitely capable of it and it's ready for it. The heart is ready for it. The legs will maybe take a little bit to get there in like the VO2 max range, but I'm really excited for what we can use for this and Andre did his run test, but you know, we're just gonna show him running all fast and pretty. Um, maybe he'll get into his numbers later and I just wanted to let you guys into what I'm doing in my training as I get a little bit more serious this year. So thanks for sticking along. Thanks for being here on our channel. If you haven't noticed our new logo, I hope you guys like it. Let us know how it is. So um, subscribe to the channel so that you can see more content and we hope to see you guys in the next one.